it's very unfortunate that um, our leaders are letting this matter get to an extent that they might all live to regret the outcome. Yes. It's gradually tilting to an extent you might not be able to resolve again. People are dying now. Something that would have been resolved amicably. The people who gave you their demands. The people that supposedly voted you gave you their demands. We don't want this. We want good governance. We want end to corruption. This and that. And you refused to do those things. Why is it so difficult for you to do them? Why is it so difficult for you to do what the people ask you to do? Everywhere there's problem now. There's killing here, there's burning of police stations here, everywhere. All because you refuse to do what the people that elected you or supposedly elected you asked you to do. And when all these things are happening, where is the president? He's not nowhere to be found. Your country is burning and you're nowhere to be found. That's unfortunate. Nigerians are going through the worst times in their lives under this present regime. The worst times in their lives. Look at other countries. Look at something like a small country like Ghana. We look at them and we say we're better than we are not better than Ghana. The people are okay. Our people go to Ghana to eat. Our people go to Ghana to survive. And we come out and claim to be giants of Africa. Sometimes I look at our leaders and I say, you people should all be ashamed of yourself. All of you should. Or you are, you are a bunch of disgrace. You are, you are a disgrace to Nigeria. This country weeps to have leaders like you. Leaders whose joy is to see the people suffer. Whose joy is to see the people cry. We had lies. Thank God I didn't believe in all those lies. How you end Boko Haram, how you do this, how you do that. How many of all those lies have you been able to do? None. The dollar you claim that you're going to make the dollar at par with the Naira. <laughs> the dollar has run away from the Naira. The dollar has run so far away from the Naira that we don't even know if we can catch up to it again. There's no way we can catch up to the dollar again. That one is gone. The petrol you said it will come down to 75 naira. <laughs> Very soon the petrol will be 200 naira. And just imagine, COVID-19 came. You didn't give us palliatives. The palliatives you gave were a few cups of rice. Nigerians outside the country were showing us how the governments there were even giving them that were not even citizens. Bags of food, money. Yet here, with all our resources, giant of Africa, the palliatives only went to the, to the politicians, the rich men, the big politicians in Abuja, as who the people that got the real palliatives. The poor masses got cups of rice in nylon bags. And all of a sudden, after COVID 19, you increase fuel price. You increase NEPA bills. Are you... What is wrong with our leaders? How do you reason? Do you reason from your annals? Where do you reason from? The fuel pump price. Now people can... I'll buy a, a little of... Because you hardly even see light. And when you see itself... Look at... I have low current here now. The fuel you buy... It's not even, you buy one, 500, now 1,000, now four, it doesn't even last. And you say you are leaders, you are leading who? And the people come out and say, look at what we want, and you don't want to do it. This thing that you are letting to linger is getting to an extent. <laughs> you might live to regret it. It is unfortunate that it's under this regime that all this is happening. All this unrest is happening. Under the same man, Nigeria went through tough times in the 80s. Again, we're going through another worst time. Is it that, do you, do you have a love for seeing Nigerians suffer? Is it that there's something Nigerians did to you that makes you want them to always suffer? You always want them to cry. 
Why? Is that something that you tell us if there's something we did to you? Let's apologize. Let us kneel down and apologize to you. Oh, sorry for what we did to you. Well, please reduce our suffering. From the first time, immediately you took over, your 95% and 5%, you start dividing the country. You started from the first speech you made, the first speech you made to divide this country. And look at today. The country is so divided. Everybody's agitating. The Yoruba people are saying we want to go. IPOB that was uh, the Southeasterners who have been agitating mildly under other regimes are now more vocal and the whole world is now listening to everybody. All under you. And all these things are things you can solve. Very simple. Equity. Justice. Fairness. Be fair to everybody. What you are giving to A, you give to B. You cannot take a loan for the building of uh, whatever you want to build. A loan that the whole nation will pay for. And you now exclude one part of the nation. And you want people to be happy. And you say you are not dividing the country. You exclude a particular part of the nation. One part is not is carried along. People are dying and you... People are dying left and right. They are killing them all over the country by a particular set of people. And you don't come to sanction those people. Instead, when people are protesting, peacefully, you send soldiers to shoot at them. And they shoot and kill people. They shoot and kill people. Internationally, protesters are not fired at with live rounds. If, if you must shoot at a protester, that is when they get violent. You use baton rounds. I don't know if you people know what baton you, you don't even know what baton rounds are. You use non little ammunition at them. You use scare uh, uh, ammunition. Shoot. Uh, maybe the baton rounds will shoot and knock them down. Or also scare them and they've won. But in Nigeria, we always see them bring out live rounds and fire at protesting innocent protesters that is just our case in nigeria a case of mad people the case of mad people it's unfortunate it is very very unfortunate that this continues to happen over and over again you go to foreign countries you go there and relax you don't want your country to be like that you want a country where everybody is poor where everybody will worship you you turn the people into paupers because that's the only way you can rig elections when you have made them poor made them paupers you can now come and share them to 2000 at the uh, pulling boots and steal their votes look at the case of human states for instance somebody from the fort goes to the becomes first with results, we don't even know how the results came about. And the Supreme Court is there. Now we are looking at them. I think there is another clear case in front of them. Let us see if, if this whole thing happening in Nigeria will give them some sense to do the right thing. We are looking at them. We are watching Nigeria. We are watching Nigeria. Do not let Nigeria disintegrate under your regime. Do not let Nigeria fail under your regime. Many people have called Nigeria a failed state. Many people have said all sorts of things about Nigeria. And if you look at it, you cannot blame them for saying what they are saying. But it is in only a failed state that you see things like this happening. You see, the, the citizens are treated like animals. The citizens don't have a say. The citizens are... are people protesting in the United States are guarded by people, the police. Our own people are there protesting in SARS and the police are guarding them. But here, they are sending soldiers to shoot them. Is that not madness? Is that not madness? I see videos of soldiers flogging people, flogging protesters. Why? Why should you flog them? Why should you shoot at them? I pray that this doesn't get to where it's going to. Because if it gets to where it is going to, 
Sir, your name will not go down in good in the history books of Nigeria. Do not go down well in the history books of Nigeria. Come back home. Sit with your people. Find out what is wrong with them. Those evil people that are around you, that are not letting you see what is really happening. Get them out of your cabinet. Get them out from your from I don't even know what those who are advising you wrongly. I don't know what they gain. Is it the money? You gain money. Look at those who have died. They carried all the money and yet they died. You that is... Money, 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 money. You want to loot Nigeria? You want to steal Nigeria before you before you're okay? What do you what What do you think you will achieve? You want to destroy Nigeria, and then after you have destroyed Nigeria, you want to and that country that has arranged themselves and go and stay. Is that not madness? Are we being led by mad people? I'm praying to God that God will help us. I'm praying to God that God will save this nation if there's anything left to be saved in it. Because as it is right now, I don't know if there's anything left to be saved. You want a one nation, fine. Treat everybody as one. You cannot hate me and still want me to be answering one nation. You want one nation, treat every Nigerian as one. You cannot give A and take away from B. Treat everybody as one. May God bless us. May God help us. May God save us. May God bless you all. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen.